Ladies and gentlemen, marketing academics and wine snobs, thank you for allowing me to present to you today an assessment of the latest approaches in marketing theory and a case study of these in effect at a small boutique winery near Canberra. Firstly, an overview of Lark Hill Winery. Lark Hill produces 14 premium wines which it markets primarily through the cellar door, through tastings and sales. Lark Hill is unique in that it is the only biodynamic vineyard in the Canberra district. Lark Hill markets its wines through the cellar door experience. The winemaker or cellar door manager will take the consumer through the wines, suggesting tastes a consumer might be noticing, offering suggestions for matching food with wines, and answering questions about the winemaking process. It is essentially a service rather than a product that Lark Hill provides. Solomon et al. describe products as having three layers, the core, the actual and the augmented product. In Lark Hill's case, the core product is really the experience, sampling, tasting and learning about wines. The actual product is the bottle of wine and the augmented product can include things like two for one at the cellar door. When we consider marketing approaches and theories that might be relevant, we need to consider the different definitions of marketing. I argue that there are two key approaches within marketing theory and that these are reflected in the two different definitions of marketing. First up, traditional approaches to marketing emphasise the marketer's ability to adjust business oriented variables to market a product. And this approach is reflected in the Chartered Institute of Marketing's 2005 definition. Marketing is a management process. This traditional approach emphasises the management process and is best encapsulated in Jerome McCarthy's four P's – product, promotion, price and place. The four P's are all aspects of marketing that are within the influence of the marketing manager. On the other hand, more recent approaches emphasise value – the value of the offering, good or service, the value created through the marketing process and the value to customers, clients, partners and society at large. This is best encapsulated in the American Marketing Association's definition of marketing. This latter approach emphasises the role both the seller and the consumer play in creating value. Another way of putting it is to acknowledge, as Chekatan Dev and Don Schultz have pointed out, that the market has changed from the marketer in control to the customer in control. In other words, it's the difference between a business-oriented approach and a service-oriented approach. The business-oriented approach first takes the product and then thinks about the marketing, while the service-oriented approach first looks at the consumer and then thinks about the marketing. In evolving to a new dominant logic for marketing, Stephen Vargo and Robert Lush have called this latter approach service-dominant logic and described it as a move away from tangible resources and transactions to intangible resources co-creation of value and relationships. Lark Hill is a perfect example of this latter approach. Lark Hill's business model is service oriented, relying on sharing and creating an experience with the consumer to create the product. And Lark Hill builds on this by constantly staying in touch with its consumers via Facebook, Twitter and TripAdvisor. It's service oriented in that it responds and adapts to feedback from its consumers in real time at the cellar door through question and answer sessions, learning what customers like, would like to taste, and through social marketing and online communications. Chekatan Dev and Don Schultz conceptualised this service oriented approach in their acronym SEVA, which stands for Solutions, Information, Value, Access. The SEVA model is all about relating to customers. Let's take one aspect of SEVA, information. Consumers ask, where can I learn more about it? Lark Hill communicates with its consumers by providing the information they need and want. From an explanation of biodynamic farming on its website, to a tailored question and answer session on its wines at the cellar door. And it is this tailored question and answer session that is consumer, customer, service oriented. But modern marketers don't have to choose between business oriented approaches on the one hand 
and service-oriented approaches on the other, it's important not to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Traditional approaches are key in retaining a sense of core business. For example, theorists have argued for a mix of old and new by rethinking the marketing mix. Ross Gordon does this by suggest, suggesting a contemporary social marketing model mixed with the traditional four P's model. Stephen Dand does this by suggesting a marketing mix matrix which builds on the four P's and on SIVA to give marketers a framework for creating a marketing strategy. Lark Hill's core business is making wine. The best marketing strategy they can pursue is a combination of both approaches, one which retains a sense of their core business by adapting product, promotion, place and price, but one which also works with their consumer to create a memorable experience. For the moment, they seem to be getting the mix right. Lark Hill has just featured as one of Gourmet Traveller's best seller doors in 2013. Nevertheless, they can't rest on their laurels. As Donna Hoffman and Thomas Novak point out, the modern marketing world, particularly on the online computer mediated environment, is one of continual flow between and around consumers, marketers and consumers again. I would add to this that modern marketing is also about continual evolution as marketers and consumers together create and recreate value. Thank you very much.